What's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing the best money glitch that is still working right now. A lot got patched today and a little bit last night, but we're going to get into all that right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so moving into this dupe glitch. All right, this dupe glitch was found by Killer Gaming, OB Strapping Gaming with Irish Demon. Shout out to those guys. Links are down in the description. Uh, it's fairly simple as long as you follow my steps. I hit this first try every time now, but you have to make sure you follow my steps precisely. Do this in a friends only session, and I just tested this on Xbox, okay? On PlayStation, it should work, but on Xbox, it for sure works. So, what you need is one friend. Have your friend, the one that's helping you, he needs to start, he or she needs to start a friends only session and send you an invite, and that's how you start up the session, okay? Every time, well, you only need to do it once, but you do that, okay? So, apart from that, your friend needs an MOC with the RH8 inside. What you need is, you need a friend in another targeting mode, you need an MOC with the RH8 inside the personal vehicle storage. Make sure you got the personal vehicle storage. You also need a CEO office with the mod shop and empty spaces inside, okay, for each one of your dupes. And you need a Benny's car to dupe. Obviously, the LG Retro Custom is the best one. And you do not need custom plates for this. It's a merge glitch. You get a fresh plate every time. So what you see right now is I'm the duper. My friend sent me an invite into their bunker and I'm accepting that in or I accepted that invite and now I'm getting into their car. This car was in their MOC, all right? So this is the, the friend's RH8, all right, in the friend's bunker. I'm the passenger and I'm the duper, all right? So what my friend's gonna do is go ahead and drive up to their MOC. Now, once my friend has the right D-pad option, I will show you a way how to hit this 100% of the time, okay? This is the best way to do it, especially for you Xbox guys, because this is done on Xbox. And I'll show you the best way to hit this first try, okay? so. Go ahead and press pause. You, what you want to do is go to your friends list. And remember I said, have somebody in a different targeting mode. I'm in free aim. It doesn't even need to be somebody in a different targeting mode, to be honest with you, if you check this out. So my friend's going to press right D-pad right there. And then all of a sudden, I start, like, right when the screen goes black for me, what I do is I actually go to join somebody. doesn't matter who it is. You go to join, and right when it tries to get session details, it's going to act like the targeting mode. It will just kick you out just like that. So... That's how you easily hit that part on Xbox. Make sure you do it that way. So now you can sign in as an MC or a CEO and call up your oppressor or your buzzard. And that'll be what you're taking back over to the bunker. Okay. So I'm taking my oppressor back and I'm going to tell my friend right now, go ahead and leave the session. So you're going to see in the left, it's going to say that my friend left the session. Okay. So there we go. Rolls left. Now all I have to do is head back over to the bunker. And that's what I'm doing right now. All right, buzzard or oppressor, both are fine. So now once I'm back over at the bunker, my friend has just left over to creator. I'm going to go ahead and just return my vehicle and I'm going to disband my MC or CEO, whatever you happen to be. Now, go ahead and call up your mechanic. Now, once you call up your mechanic, you're going to be calling that Benny's car that we said that we were going to be duping. It's going to be the LG Retro Custom. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you wait this 30 seconds. I'll fast forward through it. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to call this LG Retro Custom. Doesn't matter if it has a custom plate or not. Okay, does not matter whatsoever. So I'm waiting for it to get delivered. There it is. I'm going to hop into it. And now I'm just going to simply drive into my bunker. Okay, as you can see, it has a virus plate on it. That plate will change. So it doesn't matter. You don't need custom plates for this. So this is what I recommend, especially for Xbox, because it definitely does help sometimes. When you're on this animation going into your bunker, go ahead and press pause, all right? Because you can keep the pause menu up. What's going to happen in the background is you're going to hit an infinite loading screen, okay? Now, once you're in the infinite loading screen for a few seconds, go ahead, and now you need that friend in a different targeting mode, okay? So you, to be able to get off this black screen. PlayStation can just use a recent. Start GTA Online and decline the alert. Xbox, though, we need a friend in another targeting mode. I'm going to go ahead and find one of my friends here, hit join, and then I'm going to accept the first alert and decline the second, okay? So here we go. Accept the first, decline the second, there we go. I can now drive inside my bunker. 
What I'm then going to do is drive up to my MOC and I'm going to go ahead and hit right D-pad to drive in. Now remember, I have an RH8 inside the MOC right now. So I'm going to hit right D-pad, accept that full alert, and then it's going to drive me in. And now I'm going to get stuck on another infinite black loading screen. This is the moment when you want to tell your friend that's in creator, join the session back. I set a friends only session so they could join you right through the pause menu, nice and easy. Okay, so now it should kick you off the, the, the black screen. But in my case, it doesn't fully kick me off. I have to do a friend in another targeting mode. So if that happens to you, this is what you got to do. All right, accept the first alert, decline the second. Now I'm on that, you know, screen that I need to be on. So go ahead and just from this point, start up Titan of a job. All right, you just need to start it up and get into the lobby. All right, once we're in the lobby, you can go ahead and just press B or circle and back out and confirm the alert. Okay, so you're going to spawn in your bunker invisible for a few seconds. Go ahead and just run outside. And what you're going to find is your LG Retro Custom. And this is the dupe. All right. As you can see, it doesn't have that virus plate anymore. It has a generic plate. This is the plate that came from the RH8. All right. So now at this point, you could save it in your MOC and do a few things like that. But if you want to rinse and repeat this to be the most efficient, you want to do it this way with the CEO garage. Okay. So... What you want to do is drive this back to your CEO garage that has empty spaces and it's going to be my office garage too, I believe right here. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and drive in there. I have empty spaces. So it's letting me go right in. It's going to say the vehicle cannot be modified in the top left. Don't worry about that. That's totally cool. You'll still be able to modify it. All right. Just a little glitch. Now, once you spawn in, it's going to kick you out of the car. Just go ahead and hop right back in and press right D-pad. All right, we're going to be going into the mod shop. So now we need to force the game to save this as an LG Retro Custom because the game still thinks it's an RH8. That's why you see the plate there, but it looks like an LG Retro. So this is what we do now. When you go into the mod shop, you just need to modify something on the vehicle, something simple like the plate color, and you're good to go. Just hit exit back to your office garage. And this car is fully saved, okay? Now the beauty of this glitch is you don't have to do every, you know, everything from the beginning again for each dupe. This is how you rinse and repeat. So immediately open up your phone once we're done saving that LG Retro. You just want to open up your phone and select another RH8. And it doesn't matter what the color is, just select it and order it. And put it right in your MOC. Once you've got that in your MOC, it's going to take a little bit of time to get delivered. But by the time we get back to the bunker, you're ready to go. You'll see. It's crazy. So. Go ahead and just exit to your office. Now run over to your receptionist and ask for a buzzer. All right, I was looking for a cargo bob, I think, but I selected the buzzard. So go ahead and select the buzzard. And at this point, you wanna let your friend know you can go ahead and leave the session again, okay? That's when you wanna tell your friend. So all your friend's doing pretty much to help you is going back in your session, leaving your session, in your session, out of your session, just like that. So you're gonna see in the bottom left, it says rolls left the session, there we go. And I'm just going to fast forward until we get back over to the bunker. OK, so here's the thing. By the time we get back to the bunker, we will already be like golden. All right. That timer will be cut off. We'll be able to order up another car and the car that we ordered in the MOC will be delivered. OK, so you're going to see right here. I'm going to go ahead and just park the or land the helicopter. I should say right when I get out, look at the bottom left. LG RH8 was delivered to the MOC. So the MOC is set to go and I can go ahead and call up my mechanic and I can call up uh, an LG Retro Custom to dupe over. OK, so this is how you would rinse and repeat. I'm calling up an LG Retro Custom right here. That's when that's going to be the car that I'm actually duping over getting a merge plate onto. OK, so here it is spawning way the hell out here. I'm going to go ahead and drive this back into the bunker. Remember, hit pause. I recommend that for Xbox dudes and you should hit an infinite black loading screen behind the pause menu. This is when you want to just simply do the targeting mode trick. Or if you're on PlayStation, you can just load up a recent activity that has a start GTA online option. Just decline, you know, press that and then decline the alert. But Xbox, this is the best way to do it. Go ahead and find a friend to join in another targeting mode. We're going to accept this first alert and then decline the second and we'll be off the black screen. Now you just drive over to your MOC and this is where you press right D pad to write over the RH8 and you want to get your friend back in the session because you're going to end up on this black screen. So press right D pad, accept the alert. We're back on an infinite black loading screen. This is where you tell your buddy, go ahead and join back into the session. All right, should kick you off the black screen for good, but it never does that for me. Always just gives me a flash like that and then goes away. So I must always do the targeting mode trick. If that's happening to you, this is what you got to do. All right, so now all I got to do is start up a Titan of a job, back out of it, run out of my bunker. My dupe is there. Drive this dupe over to your empty CEO garage. 
modify something on it and you're good to go okay so that's the whole glitch guys you know how it's done and then you order up an rh8 in the moc and that's how you keep rinsing and repeating and you just keep telling your friend leave the session come back leave come back they could be doing other stuff in between dupes okay so that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed the video this is the best glitch working on xbox and playstation right now to gain money uh you know if you're brand new to the channel go ahead and press that big red subscribe button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers peace out